they allowed a child molester to go free for more than a year. For years, survivors of Larry Nasser's abuse have been calling out the FBI, accusing the agency of failing to act on the first reports that the former U.S. Women's National Gymnastics Team doctor was preying on young girls. It was like serving innocent children up to a pedophile on a silver platter. Today, more than 90 survivors, including Olympic gold medalists Simone Biles and Ali Raisman, filed a claim against the FBI saying officials were grossly derelict in their duties and by letting the investigation languish for 15 months allowed Nasser to sexually assault approximately 100 young women and children. And those systems utterly failed these women and they failed me. They failed all of us. Rachel Den Hollander was the first to publicly come forward in August 2016. She had no idea the FBI had been notified more than a year earlier. If the FBI had done what they were supposed to do in 2015, I would have never been put in that position. And more importantly, all of these women and girls who suffered this abuse, their abuse would have been stopped or they never would have met him at all. A Justice Department report last year cataloged the FBI's failures, from not contacting local law enforcement to lying about mistakes. They did not share credible information about the abuse with relevant law enforcement authorities. And so I think that there is an excellent chance that this lawsuit will succeed. The Justice Department ultimately decided not to bring criminal charges against the agents. So survivors like Grace French, who's launched her own lawsuit, say legal action is the best way to change the system. It's unfathomable what we had to go through and the institutions that failed us over and over again need to be held accountable so that they never allow this to happen to anybody else. The FBI has six months to respond. Stephen D'Souza, CBC News, Toronto.